people who are watching my videos on nature will notice that um, it's entirely possible that I have misinterpreted some of what he's saying. Um, it's also possible that I'm taking liberties with his works and his uh, the commonly accepted interpretations of his works. Well, <laughs> I hold the view that in order to be a Nietzschean, you have to first um, make sure that you don't become a Nietzschean. <laughs> um, the last thing that I want to do is appeal to anyone's authority. Well, simply because Nietzsche said so. Uh, secondly, um, I would have probably been, or I probably would now, be kicked out of any normal philosophy class where you're instructed in what so-and-so taught simply because just by almost by instinct by knee-jerk reaction I alter whatever I hear I think that that happens anyway it's just that I'm aware that that takes place in all of us whenever we read something if we read it we alter it um, uh, because language is not efficient enough to convey messages that uh, are that we are attempting to convey and the person who's speaking should be aware of that. Uh, and I think that, that accounts for Nietzsche's somewhat uh, polemical style. Somewhat. <laughs> There's an understatement. Um, I also think that um, the person who's um, listening should be aware of their own biases as well. Um, I think that that's the way to fight bias, ironically, is to be aware of it and be aware that it's almost impossible not to uh, not to be biased when you engage in this sort of thing. So I caution everyone who's watching my videos on Nietzsche that I make no claims whatsoever to be any kind of an authority on Nietzsche. Uh, in fact, most philosophy uh, professors might sort of say, okay, I understand what you're saying, but that's really not what Nietzsche was saying. Um, in other words, they would probably eat me alive. Um, this is probably an appeal to authority, but um, I don't care, and I suspect that Nietzsche would agree. <laughs> Thank you.